Good morning and welcome to another edition of You Know What It Is. Thank God I woke up. All right, a big salute to everybody who this may be their first time watching and welcome back to everybody that's been watching along since episode one. I want to get right into it. I'm very excited about this episode today. And as usual, we're going to start it off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for waking us up and allowing us to see another day, Father God. Thank you for providing us with the activity of our limbs, breath in our lungs, and a sound mind. Lord Jesus, we appreciate you for allowing us to read your holy scriptures, Father God. Please provide us with wisdom, Father God, and the understanding to truly apply your scriptures, Father God, and to understand your scriptures and to grow closer to you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so the scripture reading that I wanted to present to everybody today is going to be out of the Old Testament, and it's coming from Proverbs 19, verse 11. I'm going to provide a couple of cross-references to go along with this scripture, but let's dive right into it. This is going to be a quick one, but a very good one. Proverbs 19, 11, I'm reading out of an NASB study Bible, says, A man's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression. Wow. So this is a tough one to hear for all of us. Because when somebody does us wrong or causes us harm, the first thing we want to do is react or defend ourselves. But the Bible teaches us a little bit different. I want to point out a cross-reference right now that's coming out of the Old Testament of, as well, which is coming from Psalms 37, verse 8, which says, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil doing. So we see that the scripture is teaching us that if somebody does do us wrong or somebody does hurt us, don't be quick to anger, be slow to anger and overlook that transgression because anger only, re only leads to further evil doing. So what's next? What do we do? What are we supposed to do as believers and disciples of God? Well, great question. Let me go ahead and take you to our second cross reference of the day, which is coming out of the New Testament, out of Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. I'm reading this out of an NLT study Bible, which reads, But I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. All right, so that tells you exactly what God teaches us to do. That comes right from Jesus. We're, we are called to pray for our enemies, not to get angry, to get back at them, to get revenge. We know that the word teaches us that revenge is God's. So we're called to pray for our enemies. Let's go ahead and pray it out. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this convicting scripture today, Father God. Lord, I pray that it transforms the hearts of all of the viewers of this video and my heart, Father God. Lord, help us remember to be slow to anger and to overlook a transgression, Lord God. Lord, help us to be obedient to these scriptures and help us to grow closer to you today. Please forgive us for all of our sins, and we love you, and we thank you, and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to follow me at, at Young Mandela on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please make sure to hit subscribe under this video. God bless you. Thank God I woke up. I'm not trying to deal with it. Focus on my great. Going back to Cali. I'm going, going, back, back to Cali, Cali.